Hi, we're Chicks on Speed. This is Sunday Arts. ABC TV. I like how colourful it is and how busy it is. There's just something to look at everywhere. It's very inspiring and I also like the interactivity, so everyone getting involved. Music, art, performance, fashion, craft are just some of the things that Chicks on Speed do, but it's not just one or the other. For them, everything is integrated and they've taken over Craft Victoria, Chicks on Speed style. And trust me, this is not pots on plinths or lovely little knitting items. This is Viva La Craft. It's a combination of exhibition space, workshop. Yeah, it kind of looks like also clothes hanging up to dry in parts of the exhibition. We don't play guitars. Chicks on Speed are perhaps best known for their music, which brought them international fame. But they are in fact much more than just a band. Chicks on Speed are an ever-changing collective of musicians, producers, graphic designers, film and video makers and other craftspeople. And core members, including Alex Murray Leslie and Melissa Logan, met at art school in Munich in the 1990s. From the very beginning it was very important to really work in all different genres and also not just to be a band in the art scene like some arty farty band. It was really okay, if we're going to make music it's got to be top of the pops, it's got to go there and really all over the world. Selling masterpieces, dog returns to vomit. It's the first solo exhibition by Chicks and Speed in Australia and the idea was that we would have um, static work in the show as well as works in progress. We're a contemporary crafts organisation, so we really wanted to focus on the, the, the ways that Chicks on Speed um, challenge and, and, and have developed the, the idea of what contemporary craft can mean. This is um, a, a palette clutch purse, and this is um, Viva La Craft, uh, the sewing machine that's very important to Chicks on Speed because this is actually a musical instrument for us. A lot of our pieces, they, they become props to our live shows and things like that, and we, so that we change the context of it. So it's part of a, a video and then it becomes part of a live performance and then it goes into an exhibition. And Chicks on Speed have always maintained a DIY aesthetic when it comes to their music, fashion, performances and art. The way that we've done it is through like necessity in a way. We had to have um, outfits for the stage, so we created them by ourselves and then made the fabrics because we hated all the clothes in the chain stores you have in, in Europe and they're just incre incredibly generic and mass produced and there's a heaps of slave labour involved. Then through that, that led to making not just costumes and textiles, but then we needed to have a stage show, our own makeup style, videos, um, graphic design, and you know, we just couldn't stop. A large portion of Viva La Craft is about creating and displaying what they call object instruments. They're essentially art objects that the chicks on speed can play during performances, and there's not a conventional instrument in sight. From the high heel shoe that they've turned into a guitar, to the stage costumes that can trigger sounds. This is a super suit, and this is from the collection of super suits that we made in Barcelona at Hangar, which is an art production space. And the super suit you can trigger sound and video by pressing the different keys of the instruments. So if you press here, this is going to trigger video and sound on stage. And this is a saxophone. And this is a guitar. And this is a drum kit. What we have here is a mad hat, amplified hat. There's an effect bank with a shifter, tremolo, chorus, phaser. This is made for the stage, so you can run around in it because it's totally self-contained. For Chicks on Speed, the importance of working with and learning from others is integral to how they work. And for the duration of the exhibition, they've gathered together craft practitioners from around Victoria to join them in the lab. To not only create new works, many of which will be fed back into their live performances, but also to learn from specialists in different crafts, including tapestry and traditional dyeing techniques. A lot of the craft techniques that are being showcased here are traditionally associated with women's work, with domestic work. The artists are challenging that in a number of ways. They're bringing craft practice into a public forum. They're engaging anyone to, to, to come in and work with them. 